Hi guys. So in this video, I'm going to um, attempt to fit this. But first, I've just noticed still a bit of a crud in there that needs to come out. So I'm going to give that a good clean. I'm going to try and uh, and what I'll do, I'll sit you on the toolbox. I hope. Uh, get closer, as close as I can, anyway. Just crap that away. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, just gonna uh, put the whole bottom bracket a bit of a clean out first. I'm just gonna use this whole t-shirt I'm using as a rag. I've got a load of uh, paint on it, so I figured I might as well just use it. Now, what you've got to remember with this side is this is the drive side, and uh, the sealed end goes in the drive side. And the other thing you've got to remember is. Uh, it's reverse thread this side so instead of where you'd normally tighten clockwise you've got to do it anti-clockwise and that should I get it right no cross thread in it there we go change this I can get this in with this. Ooh, might be a bit tight. Yeah, it is going to be tight, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my old trick, because I can do it this side. I'm going to slot this tool on, and I'm going to use the nut that came with it. Secure the uh, tool on. Like so. Nice and tightly. Um, buh, 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 buh. I'll give it a go with the um, large adjustable before I uh, try the other one. Why this is so tight? This is like it was when I, how it was when I got the old one off. So. I've got fat going. No, I'm about halfway there. Well, at least I know this side won't come off in a hurry. Thread itself to the side might be a bit shit. Perhaps it's got some grit or something. Should have uh, put this in my stand room. So. I've had tighter, so this isn't actually that bad. But I've had tighter to do. You've got to go till you get it screwed all the way in. Uh, and I'm so well prepared, I forgot the grease for the other side. Um, <laughs> when I've just got this on, I'll go and get it out of the cupboard. I've got a little inner grease gun up here. There's not enough to actually squirt it from the grease gun, but I can use a flat screwdriver or something. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Nearly there. 
In theory, I shouldn't have to take this off for a long time, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. Getting there. And it's nearly there. This is a good way to um, use one of these tools. I was trying to hold this and uh, use this wrench to turn it is a bit awkward. So I think that is actually screwed all the way in. No. I'll put a little bit of grease on the other side. Um, I've also got to turn the bike around. Yeah. That's the old one. I don't want the old one. I am going to put that bolt in there though, because uh, it is the new one. Wobbly! Mm. Right. enough in here to use the actual squirty bit. I'm just going to take that off and uh, take our new one. Sit on my foot for the time being. <laughs> get all the grease. And just because uh, um, I've noticed from the factory they haven't actually put much grease in here. So I'm just going to grease that up. Input the lock ring on, and that is how you fit the bottom bracket. Uh, all a lock ring does is just prevent this from loosening up. You get it all with the kit when you put it on. Okay, so that goes. So the right way and the wrong way around to put it on. So I didn't want to bite that way around. I don't want to bite this way around either. You can get proper um, lock ring tools, which I do have, just not up here. But what I tend to do 
as a bit of a compromise. I don't recommend it because it would damage the teeth in here, but let's get a flathead screwdriver. And, uh, get the tap it round till it goes tight. But like I said, I it's not a method I'd actually recommend doing. If you don't have it at hand, then there we go. So that's that repair job done. So we're getting somewhere. Um, pull the rubber seal out of me um, grease gun. I need to refill this. So I've got a pot of grease downstairs, so I can refill it easier enough. I just haven't remembered to do it. So there. It's actually rotating pretty well. Can't feel no play in there, but knowing my luck, I'll go for a ride on it and uh, I'll come loose. I'll put exactly the same one on a friend's bike, because that's what he went and got for his, when his bottom bracket went, so. There we go. Alright, let's see if get worked in. Right. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next job. Ah, in the next video, I think I'll do the brakes. Um, yeah, I think it'll be the brakes or the gears. I've got to put the bottom bracket back on. Um, crank, not bottom bracket, I've just done the bottom bracket. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Of course, if you liked the video and found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've got one, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.